Now, let's talk about sugar, your blood sugar. Did you know that sugar, particularly glucose, is the main energy source for the body? Burning fat is way too labor intensive for your body, so it depends on your sugar stored in your liver and your muscles. You have to go into starvation mode in order to burn fat. And if you stay there without supporting your hypothalamus, your metabolism will lower. And that means that when you finally eat again, you'll put the weight on fast. You cannot fool your hypothalamus, but you can support it so it does its best job at keeping your hormones in balance and keeping you healthy. Healthy glucose metabolism is key to staying energized and fit. It's all about the perfect balance between the hormone partners insulin and glucagon. Your pancreas produces insulin in response to how much glucose or sugar is floating around in your bloodstream. The more sugar, the more insulin your pancreas has to produce. If your blood sugar stays high, as in the case of a type 2 diabetic, your pancreas gets worn out and stops making enough insulin to lower your blood sugar. Now, if your pancreas makes too much insulin, then your blood sugar becomes too low, and that's called hypoglycemia. Now, the symptoms of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, are much more obvious than hyperglycemia, high blood sugar. When your blood sugar is too low, you feel shaky, you break out in a cold sweat, you may feel dizzy or lightheaded, you can't focus, you may have a little brain fog, and you become irritable. Eating sugar resolves the symptoms quickly, but you better follow that rescue sugar with some protein and fat or your blood sugar will bottom out again. Chronic hypoglycemia can lead to a worn out pancreas and type 2 diabetes. Insulin's job is to escort glucose into your cells. Your cells have little organelles called mitochondria that use glucose to make energy. Insulin locks into your cell's insulin receptor, which then opens gateways for glucose to enter your cells. When insulin receptors are sensitive to insulin, they not only unlock gateways for glucose, but also for amino acids, fatty acids, and water. What if you need energy fast, but your blood sugar is low? And that's where insulin's partner, glucagon, comes in. Your pancreas makes a second hormone called glucagon. Glucagon releases stored sugar from your muscles and your liver. Remember, in the fight or flight response, cortisol is produced to fuel your stress response. It does that by telling your pancreas to release glucagon. And then with the release of all that stored sugar, your pancreas must release insulin enough to escort all that sugar into your cells. Your pancreas is constantly monitoring your blood sugar. If you keep your blood sugar stable, your pancreas doesn't have to work that hard and you're less likely to develop insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. You can balance your blood sugar with the three-part rule. One of the best ways to prevent your sugar from bottoming out is to be sure every meal is balanced. One part complex carbohydrates, one part protein, and one part fat. Complex carbs are low glycemic foods, high in fiber and low in sugar, like whole grains, beans, and vegetables. Protein can either be animal or plant-based, but must be equal in grams to your carbs. And fat is twice as calorically dense as protein and carbs, so you only need half the grams of fat as you do protein. Even your snack should be balanced. An apple with nut butter or string cheese is a good snack if your blood sugar is low. Eating balanced, low glycemic meals will help prevent insulin resistance too. 
If you really would like more help keeping your blood sugar stable, then sign up for my free hormone reboot training where you will get access to my full insulin resistant diet. I'll see you in the next video.